we'll guide you through how to go incognito and enter private browsing on your iPhone. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video, and let's get started. The main benefit of using private browsing or incognito is that your search history isn't saved onto your device. Firstly, open up Safari just like this, and then what you want to do is tap on the two squares in the bottom right of Safari like this. This is the tabs button. Then you can tap on private over to the left here, click on the plus button in the bottom left, and that'll then create a new private tab. Or alternatively, you just click on the three lines at the bottom here like so, and you can then click on private. Now, if you don't have these private options at the bottom of your browser, this is likely due to a restriction on your iPhone. So what you need to do is close off Safari, open up your settings and go into screen time and then scroll down till you see restrictions and then click on content and privacy restrictions and then click on content restrictions and you'll need to enter your screen time passcode. So if somebody else has set this up on your iPhone, you'll need to go and get them to change this setting. If you know yours though, type it in and then you need to go and change your web content to unrestricted. Once it's set to unrestricted, you can then go back to Safari. You may need to go and restart it. So swipe up on it, close it and then open it up again. And then you should then go and see the option for private. Um, and if you click on the three lines at the bottom here, you should then go and see the private there as well once you set it to unrestricted. If you found this useful, then please leave a like.